everyone, I'm Bea, and in this video, I am going to discuss the importance of sunlight for your hydroponic plants. To start this, let's answer the question, what is the role of sunlight in plant growth? Sunlight is a highly required element in the process of food making or aka photosynthesis. Without sunlight, the plants will have no energy to make their own food and they will not grow. But how much sunlight is too much? The fastest way to know is to look for signs. If the leaves of your plants look bleached, wrinkled, or crumbly, they are receiving too much sun. Another thing to look for is burns. You can notice this when leaves eventually get blotchy burns in white, yellow, or brown color. To avoid this, take note that newly transplanted seedlings are very sensitive. Thus, take two weeks to progressively transfer them into brighter light when moving or transplanting. When the temperature in your area rises above 85 degrees Fahrenheit, protect your seedlings from the sun by transferring them to an area with shade such as greenhouse or an indoor area with sunlight. You can do the same action when it rains. Moving them will limit the chances of physical damages. Another possible question you might be pondering on right now is, what if I don't have enough outdoor space? If your outdoor space is limited, you can put them inside your house, particularly in a south-facing window. If you don't have a window that can provide sufficient sunlight, you may opt to purchase some indoor grow lights. Grow lights allow you to grow a wide variety of crops in any environment and at any time of the year. These grow lights are specifically designed to replace natural sunlight, promoting photosynthesis and delivering the appropriate color spectrum for the plant to develop and flourish. But what are the qualities of a good LED light? First and foremost, it must not give off too much heat. Why? Because if it gives off too much, this may result in burns as I discussed a while back. It must also have a full spectrum or a wide range of light colors. Different colors of light are required for optimal photosynthesis and in each development cycle. Quality LED bulbs are not only efficient, but also simple to use and allow you to fine-tune their location with no effort. It is also critical that the color and light intensity be changeable. Look for grow lights that are simple to care for and ready to use right out of the box. How do I know what kind of grow light should I use? If you are someone who is only growing one to three plants, you can use individual white fluorescent light bulbs. You can also use bar lights if you're growing more plants. For a full spectrum grow light, check out the Suntrack lights, which I have found highly effective in many different crops. You can check out the description section below to know more information about the product. Now, another concern in using grow lights is the distance of the lights from the plants. If you're using fluorescent and LED grow lights, know that they produce less heat. Because of that, they may be positioned 12 and 6 inches above plants, respectively. So I think that would be all for this chapter. Don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts and join our vibrant community of growers by clicking the link in the description section below. You can also check out our website at www.foodforest.club for more updates and info about our upcoming works and projects. This is Bea, your guide in this exciting urban gardening adventure. Bye!